Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Chats with Chaltery. I hope you're safe and well. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by my good friend, Oliver Stofer, who is the CEO of PTI, which is Packaging Technologies and Inspection. And today, we're going to talk about some great news for PTI, their recent acquisition of Leak Detection Associates, or LDA as we'll call them, who are a leading manufacturer of helium-based high sensitivity leak detection systems for the pharmaceutical and biological industries. So first of all, Oliver, how are you, my friend? I'm doing great. Doing really good. How are you? I'm very, very good. It's a bit cloudy here in Surrey this afternoon, but other than that, it's, yeah. it's quite mild and warm, so that's all good. Uh, How's it in New York for you? Yeah, we're just gearing up for the holidays. Uh, we're getting a, our first snow uh, here and there. So it's, it's great. Yep. Excellent. Cool. Look, yeah. well, before we start talking about the acquisition and uh, the story behind it, last time you and I spoke was uh, just leading up to the ISP annual meeting when you That's were right. helping organize uh, that specific track. Uh, how did the annual meeting go for you? And were there any learnings you got out of the conference? Well, it was excellent. You know, we had a lot of great sessions. Uh, the content was just as expected, you know, really uh, timely, on point. The, the speakers brought really great content. So it was a great session, great event. Um, you know, it, it's something that we really hope eventually the in-person comes back. But still, you, you have to appreciate the, the opportunity to connect and to learn in the environment that we're in today. So it was, it was a great way to pivot. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. So for those who are not familiar with PT, PTI, my apologies, PTI, perhaps you can tell people a little bit more about the company before we start talking about the acquisition. Yeah. Packaging technologies and inspection. We've been around for 30 years. We do predominantly leak testing for high risk package, uh, packaging, sterile barriers. Um, so the majority of our work is in pharmaceuticals, vials, syringes, ampules, and uh, that that dominates the, the work that, that we're focused on. And we're also in the food and medical device industries, but our primary focus is container closure integrity for high-risk packaging. And right. we have five technologies to achieve that. Just about any application, clients throw it at us and we say, hey, look, there's going to be a way to do it. We just got to figure it out. And so people send us their samples. We dig deep into the physics and chemistry of the application and uh, deliver a solution. Fantastic. So let's talk about LDA. Um, why did you acquire them in the first place? But actually before that, what is helium-based uh, high, sensitiv high sensitivity, easy for me to say, leak detection? Yeah, so helium, it's its a hell of a molecule, right? Um, the, the, the point is helium is pretty small, hydrogen smaller, but it's an inert gas. You can't necessarily use uh, detection systems to detect hydrogen, but helium, and you don't want, want hydrogen floating around anyhow, it can be dangerous, right? So uh, helium is, is one of these gases that you can detect. It's very small. It will leak through just about anything. So helium leak testing has always been known to be the most sensitive form of leak testing. It may not be the most practical, but it's the most sensitive. And so in the pharmaceutical industry, when you're developing the containers, helium is one of the primary technologies used to assure the fitment of stoppers to the, the vial, uh, the plunger to the syringe barrel. So when you're developing the container and you want the highest level of sensitivity in understanding that your design actually works, helium is the technology to use. And so it's a mainstay. It's been around for a long time. It's going to be around for a very long time. And as we uh, look at the entire marketplace, so PTI has been sort of in this middle ground of benchtop leak detection systems, and we're continuing to evolve into this automated space. So moving further down the value stream into the, the space of production and higher speeds. And on the other end of it, we want to support our clients with that container development. So we're moving upstream with uh, Helium. Now, Helium does compete partly with one of our vacuum-based technologies, uh, which is the Verapac 465. That model can get down to pretty small leak sizes, but still nothing will ever come close to helium. So that's why that's, it's a, it's a hell of a molecule. Right. And, and so why LDA and how did that come to fruition? So LDA, uh, they've been around in business for about a uh, little over 20 years, I want to say. And what they have is the expertise. So you can go anywhere and buy a helium leak detector today. You can even buy it with your credit card, probably, you know, online. Easy, right? Knowing how 
to perform the helium leak test in terms of the test fixturing, the design, the approaches, all that intellectual property is extremely valuable. And that is what improves the ability of any uh, person operating a helium leak tester to be advanced at and at that sort of test method. And so LDA has been an expert in the field. They have a lot of uh, unique applications and approaches to support the pharmaceutical industry. That has been their primary market. They're experts in it. And we really appreciate the expertise that we're bringing on board. And it, it's going to be just, you know, one more arrow in the quiver. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. And I, I know obviously you, you said pharmaceutical and biologics and obviously biologics, particularly with vaccines and so on, is such a huge area now. So do you think yeah. this opens up more scope for you then to work in that area? Well, I, I think we're, we're already well positioned in biologics. What it's going to do is any client that's looking to develop new container formats or new new designs or want to explore a, a different plunger fitment or stoppers, anything like that, they're going to have to validate the actual design of that closure system. And this is our ability to support our clients with that design aspect. So, it, you know, as opposed to just being downstream in terms of uh, sterility testing or, um, you know, other, other types of testing downstream that is performed to assure the quality of the container, this gets us into that up, upstream space to support our clients with their container development. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay, so looking at sort of the practicalities of the, of the acquisition, what's happening to the existing employees at, at LDA? Well, yeah, so uh, the management team of LDA, they have bigger and greater dreams. So they're already off in the sunset uh, going to pursue some really uh, great stuff. Uh, we're really excited for them and their plans. Um, you'll, you'll hear from them here probably in the coming months. Uh, that's really exciting. The actual core team of people that are part of LDA that, that we really um, look to support the, the growth of that that the product and the expertise, they're staying with PTI. So the, the LDA offices are remaining down in Southern New Jersey. They will remain uh, for the near term, let's say the next uh, two years. And we really hope to integrate that team here fully at our headquarters in New York. But ultimately, you know, we're, we're really, um, we've taken this acquisition on and adopted the LDA team into our family in a way that really makes makes this entire organization uh, a, a greater organization. So the LDA brand will survive. It's going to survive here with PTI and we're really going to foster their growth and the opportunities that they've had. And really it's a smaller operation. So um, hopefully as they join PTI, all of a sudden they've received a lot more muscle in so many different categories. They've had a list of R&D projects that they can't wait to pursue. And <laughs> they've just been sort of itching to pursue them. And all of a sudden, you know, right behind me, probably a couple offices behind, I've got a team of PhDs and engineers that are just really excited to pursue that. So um, they're excited. We're excited. It's a lot of fun. Fantastic. Yeah. And yeah. looking ahead, uh, I know it's not an easy question to answer necessarily, but uh, are there any other acquisitions on the horizon? You know, there, there are always possibilities of other acquisitions on the horizon, but uh, PTI strategy has always been organic growth. We're very intelligent in terms of our technology strategy, and uh, we have a lot of runway to go when it gets to sensory development and those technologies. Uh, we just uh, got, you know, basically engaged in a new patent uh, about a month ago. So we just are, are in the process of filing that. It's a really exciting one. It could potentially change the game of leak testing. So a lot of that organic activity is happening here at PTI, right? The reason why you might want to go acquire someone is because you want to take a, a competitor out of the field. You want to bring in a technology that you can't do. All these other reasons. Uh, LDA just happened to be a great fit. Uh, their owners and us came to a really, um, uh, we had a really great uh, discussion early on, but we know one another and we thought this is a perfect place for LDA to land. And so, you know, future acquisitions, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Fantastic. Well, look, yeah. as always, Oliver, I really appreciate taking time out to talk to me. It's always interesting finding out more about what you're doing. So if you want to know more about PTI and the acquisition and the various technologies you've got, which you've got, as you say, a huge portfolio of technologies out there. Um, how can people find out more? 
Well, uh, LDA's website, um, we revamped it. So it, that's really exciting, heliumleak.com. So you can see their website there. That links to PTI's website, which is ptiusa.com and PTI's website links to Helium. So, uh, you know, those two things are, are one in the same. And uh, so you can find out about the, the Helium Leak te technologies there. And we're more than excited to support the marketplace with Helium Leak testing solutions and all the other leak testing solutions we offer. And I really want to thank you for the time this morning to uh, get this message out and let people know what we can do. Brilliant. Well, uh, as always, Oliver, thank you very much for your time. As Oliver mentioned, everyone, if you want to know more information about PTI, LDA, the various technologies, including the helium technology that Oliver talked about, the links will be above the video as always. And if you've got any questions for Oliver about leak testing in general or about specific technologies, I'm sure he'll be more than happy to answer them. So put comments below the video or send him a message on LinkedIn. He will be tagged so you can message him directly as well. So as always, all that's left for me to say is, Oliver, thank you very much for your time, my friend. Rizwan, thank you very much. And thank you all for watching as always. And until next time, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye.